I think the point is that there it's very popular in the present day to um, talk about Akados Baruch Hu as though there's all sorts of different kinds of approaches to relationship with him that are legitimate from the standpoint of Torah. And we happen to have ours. And of course, there's all sorts of other ones that are being practiced the world round. Um, and, you know, it needs to be said that the Torah does embrace the idea that other nations can seek relationship with Hashem and do it properly. But how many people are actually doing that versus how many are instead trying to put some kind of idol in Hashem's throne and, and serve that instead? And the way that you tell that is with the content that they invest in that idol. Um, because if it tells them things that contradict the Torah or that deride the Torah or that uh, seek to fundamentally change the role of Am Yisrael in the world, then we're not talking about the same HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So it can be the case from their perspective that they think they're talking about HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but from ours, it's clear that they are not. Um, and that doesn't mean that they they couldn't be, right? There, There's a, a wonderful possibility for Bnei Noach around the world to multiply who want to relate to the God of Israel who gave Torah to Moshe to Am Yisrael, but they don't want to become part of Am Yisrael because uh, they don't see that as their role or their their goal, and, and that's wonderful. Um, but that's not evidently the default. Like when we when we look around and see who's doing what, we have a lot more of activities that purport to relate to Akados Baruch Hu, um, but do so with content that the Torah uh, disagrees with.